Okay. Daisy in tens. Played this a couple of times before. Pretty sure you can put them all up to like four. Yeah. Your skill points. Allocate them like you would in Skyrim, something like that. Strength. Now, I want stealth to be super good straight off the bat. Let's find, there he is, Boris. Teddy, no, we're going to be Freddy, Freddy Bundy, stealth is going to be huge, anyone who hasn't played this server, Daisy in tens, it is significantly harder to kill zombies, significantly, and you take a lot of damage when you get hit by them. Contusions, concussions, hemorrhaging, bruises basically. A lot easier to get. Oh, sick, I was going to say. And, you know, look at that. One cloth, half a disinfected bandage. Oh shit, I started sprinting then off the off, which you don't want to do. This weather is going to make it highly likely that I get a cold early doors. We're going to need a fire to try and fix that. The loot economy means it's really difficult to find nearly anything. There's a battery. Quite surprised I found that there, to be honest. What the fuck? Look at that. A tools bench. That's pretty cool. Let's see if anybody has decided to F11 off the lighthouse. Nope. We're going to make our way towards Prig. I mean, those little houses over there are closer, but I'm going to probably go with Prig. Oh, look at that. That's pretty huge. Find a water bottle. Straight off the rip that we can fill and drink with in Prig. You know, our t-shirt has got no carry capacity. As it shouldn't do either. It shouldn't have pockets. That's where they make this a bit more realistic. There's a teddy. As you see down in the bottom right, our HUD. You've got the usual from right to left. Health, blood, temperature, food, water. Then you've got sleep. So if you get sleep deprived, you have to go into your gestures wheel is the greater than uh, arrow next to the question mark and then you have to physically tell your character to lie down and then they will start snoozing with one eye open and that will regenerate the sleep icon and then next to it it's mentality so if you go on a killing spree start killing a few people you turn to cannibalism you start losing your mind your vision goes you start laughing like you would do with kuru but you basically can get psychotic episodes, I suppose you would say. Oh, look at this. This is huge. Badly damaged cooking pot. Which we can use not only to fill up for water, but to cook larger amounts of stuff. Fish. Predominantly fish, chicken, whatever we manage to catch. We can cook it quicker by using the cooking pot. It also carries more water than a bottle, I do believe. As far as Daisy in tens goes, finding a, a water... Well, we can ditch the water bottle, actually. We'll leave it there in the road for someone else. Just to have that little bit of extra carry capacity for this early inventory. We don't need it. I know it's badly damaged, the water... Um, the cooking pot. The rain has stopped. That's huge. I'm going to make our way carefully down to the train tracks. 
to eventually search these these train carriages on the way to Prague. Because we can. In official anyway. Another community service find some good stuff on these train carriages that often get overlooked. Fresh spawns might just run straight down the road to Prague. We probably will go to Prague and then we will take the time to go over to the industrial area as well because there are military containers. We might have better clothing and ammunition, even a gun or two. Early doors, it's all about food, water, better clothing because if we get sick, we're going to need to find the specific medication to cure that sickness. Vitamins, Tetra, they all do the same thing that they would do on community, but you've got a multitude of other medications that will heal things like cold and flu. Right, first carriage, absolute blank. Second carriage, we've got boots. Wellies, bad insulation. These are low, so we're going to keep the low at the minute, but bear in mind they are damaged. We've got a hoodie that's banged up. But, it gives us some badly damaged ammo. This pristine t-shirt can be cut up for rags. So pretty big that we can hang on to that. And this is pretty big as well. Oh, this could be an issue though. The tire iron. Look at that. How many slots is that t-shirt? Yeah, it's only four, yeah. Now we have a melee. Decent melee as well. Very underrated, the tire iron. And then it starts raining again. Wonderful. Peacoat only has 8 slots, whereas the hoodie has 12. So we're going to hang on to the hoodie. Unless we can make a decision here. If I put on the peacoat. And I carry the tire iron. We now have a pristine jacket. Excuse me. <laughs> Damaged boonie hat. Horrific colour, but anything to help our insulation. Look, we've already gone up into white temperature. Denim shorts are pristine. Can't carry them. Got the capacity. <laughs> oh my god, what is that? What is this? Nothing in that one anyway. Nobody's thrown themselves off the bridge. We couldn't cut them up anyway. We haven't got a blade. So let's go up to Prig. We know there's a well, so we know we can immediately fix our hydration issues by drinking up lavishly at the well. If we could find some way of getting a knife, I would get an early fire going as well. Even though we've got nothing to cook. I mean, a chicken would be marvellous. We'll see how many lives this character goes through. Because if you die, obviously you reset. Look at that, NBC pants. NBC pants, low insulation, pristine, pristine, bad insulation. Oh. They haven't got any way of storing anything, though. There's a butt stock on the top of that we don't want. Keeping an eye out for players, but it is really difficult early doors because your stamina very quickly and it regenerates very slowly watch now if I do a power attack oh God, sorry that's a normal attack even that's taking my stamina if I do a big one 
nearly all my stamina goes now. And look how slow it regenerates. So if I wanted to run after somebody now, or perform another power attack, I've got to wait. You get that sort of awkward standoff. Yeah, a worn flat cap is better. For the look and the fact that it's in better condition. But I'm really scouting ahead. We're going to be friendly if we see anybody. Let's see how it goes. We might get an... In an adventure going, we might get a betrayal opportunity down the line, but another peacoat, same as I've got on. Ooh, that's badly damaged, whereas that's pristine and it's a good melee. So we've now got a melee, a pristine melee item. Can't see anybody ahead at the well. Now that's pristine. It's bad insulation, but in this server, where you can get concussed easily by the Zeds players, I think it's worth taking a bit of head protection early doors, even though it's poor for the insulation. Oh shit, I wish I could take that collar dress. I wish we had a knife early doors because we found plenty of pristine stuff we can cut up for rags. But no bladed item article yet. Alright. So. First drink of our life, this character's life, Freddy Bundy. Drink up out of the rain. But we don't want to get sick, so as soon as we see that stomach symbol come up to show that we're full, we're going to stop drinking. But if we don't see it, I'm going to drink the whole thing. There we go, there it is. And we take some for the road. Don't forget our melee. Okay, it's not a disgustingly poor start. Could be better. There's our first Z ahead. We'll, we'll show you how important it is to have a good melee. Now. Look how early he saw me as well. Saw me very early doors. Right? The other thing is, you have to search the infected. You have to hold left mouse to search the body before it will tell you whether they were carrying anything or not. They had guts on them. Haven't got the capacity to carry it, haven't got a knife to turn it into rope, so... I'm not even sure if you can turn it into rope. Right, these have got nine, but our pants have got 12. Balaclava really badly banged up, but we'll take it for the insulation anyway. Beggars really can't be choosers on this server. You have to grab anything you can. Right, and again, when it comes to the Zeds, you have to take them on one by one, even if you've got a really good melee weapon. Right, so we draw him onto us. Again, make sure you... Oh, fuck, you know, that was a good one. Makes me think he's been, been punched once by someone, perhaps, because he went down in one hit, which is unusual. didn't have anything for me. So far we've been lucky. Haven't taken a hit off a Z. Haven't had to hit him with our bare hands. Because so you, you can get bloody hands from fist fighting the Zeds as well. <coughs> Nothing in there. 
Let's check this log cabin. And the reason I'm creeping around is you'll build up your, your stealth statistics and you'll end up unlocking perks. Right, so these are pristine drenched. These are pristine not drenched. And just little things like that, it might give us an opportunity to not get sick because we've now got dry shorts for a little bit anyway. Check this little electrical box thing. What have we got in here? A flashlight. I haven't really got the capacity to take stuff like that at the moment. There's Granny. Look at that. Look how far away she's heard me there, even though I started creeping. Really sensitive on this one, the Zeds. Oh, they're actually going down quite quick today. This meat tenderizer is doing a good job. Particularly when you know how to time that power hit. Oh, look, we've actually got bloody hands. Even the spray off the Zed has given us bloody hands. Luckily, we've got the water on us. We can wash our hands. Take a risk. <laughs> Take a risk and just wear the beanie for the insulation rather than have the protection, the shock damage protection. Again, nothing from our boy. Whenever we can sneak. Whenever we can sneak, I will do, so we can hopefully increase our ability, our stealth ability, quicker. Fuck, they're not carrying much, are they, these Zeds? He took a while. The hatchet is not as good as a melee. You know, you need to know what you're doing with your blocking, etc. What I'm going to do... Wash my hands. The blood off. Because I don't even want to cut up and make rags with dirty hands. That's how technical this server can be. Ah. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh shit! Nearly made a nearly made an armband there. Scroll down, craft rags. There we go. So you could choose to keep these for emergency bandages, but I'm going to make hand wraps so that my hands. I'm not going to get bloody if I have to cut up an animal, etc. Plus a little bit of insulation against the cold, covering the hands up. It's bad insulation, but... Another guy to fight here. I'm going to drag him away from anybody else that might be lurking in that farm. <laughs> Search him. Oh, 
another battery. You never know. But eventually we will go down the, the, the foot wrap route. Let's fight this gentleman. Could really do with one of these turning up with, with a rucksack on for us. And a can of food would be nice. And out again. Oh, this is big. Some duct tape. So if we find an item of clothing that is decent, but it's damaged, we can pimp it back up to worn. I'm not going to waste it on the beanie, because we're likely to find something better than the beanie we've got in any case. Food is becoming a worry, early doors. Not gonna lie. We've only got one house. No, we've searched everything down here. Oh, yeah, one house, and then we go over to the industrial. Let's fight this guy. Hopefully, he'll be bring better luck. Make sure we get a headshot on him. Two headshots. Good night. Come on, son. Something edible. Mother of Jesus. You want to be careful that none are just standing in a bush by you. That be a, could be a nasty surprise that you don't want. But look at my character. He hasn't got bloody hands. He hasn't got bloody gloves. So when we get to this next house, we're going to have another little drink. Keep on top of our hydration. That Z is surely far enough away. Now, pipe wrench is a nice melee, but... Oh, we can put that on our shoulder, can't we? Yep, we need... Okay, we've got a melee separate to our hatchet now, which is good. But we've got no room for our rags, which is not good. We are desperate for a backpack. Desperate. What I like about this server as well, you can't see what's in your backpack unless you place it in your hands or you put it on the floor of the vicinity makes sense how are you going to be able to see what's in it unless it's in your hands like in real life but what that means is if you get a ruined backpack you can't go in your inventory otherwise you could no longer well your backpack inventory you can't put it back on your back once you've dropped it on the floor or put it in your hands so you have to keep on top of the backpack situation which is why the duct tape is good Now, sometimes these... Oh, look at that. I'm sure I just saw, like, a clump of three Zs. <laughs> and this is where patience and stealth is a key. You can go into your statistics, see? So, influenza resistance, I'm going to activate that. Let's do this somewhere safer. A fucking zombie outside here. And they can open doors as well. On this server. Bear that in mind. When you're thinking of trapping them or hiding. In a building, they can open doors just to make it even uh, more difficult. Oh, fuck it. A better condition cooking pot. Superb. 
food's going to be an issue any second, though. We can pour the water from our old pot into the new one. Which is cool. drink Been on top of at least one of our food or water you know at least we're keeping on top of the water element I'm only gonna drink half though so I want it in case we do get bloody hands and then go into our perks again so influence the resistance you can quickly awaken people from unconsciousness we'll activate it it's hardly gonna be useful you can run fast for 10% longer. Stamina recovers 10% faster when jogging or walking. We definitely want that one. Your robust physique carry heavier loads. You lose 10% less stamina. Strength is a movement. Right, we're going to go with heavy weight. Stealth, silent steps. Movement noise reduced by 10%. We could have had that from the start, by the way. Light and a fire increased by 5%. Sometimes you fail. And the amount of meat is increased by 10% by activating butcher. So there we go. We got our perks activated. Let's carry on checking this industrial and particularly... Oh, there's a chicken. Fuck. High branches are one hit, which is good. If they run to you. Oh my god. Fishing rod. Huge. If we get that chicken and get a bone off the chicken, then we can convert to a bone hook oh look at that combat jacket 15 pimp it up a bit and repair it a bit which will help the insulation of the jacket and obviously the preservation of it It's the inventory slots that we wanted, really. There's chickens over here somewhere. Oh, fucking hell. A fishing hook as well. Huge.
There you are. <laughs> oh no, you don't. Fucking much harder to catch a chicken as well. I don't think you can get... Oh, there we go, yeah. Oh, I can't craft a bone knife, can I? Just done them, and I can't even. <sighs> oh, level of s s stealth has increased. Well, we've got no extra perk to unlock, but that's nice. I need warping as well. It doesn't tell you how many bullets you've got in a mag either, but now I know that's got 12 in it. Oof. Let's see, if I do that, do that, move that across, move that across. Okay. Fuck the batteries. have a can of food so I don't go starving before I fish. Of course you don't. Gunshots in Cherno. Right, we've been here. This hatchet's gonna ruin very soon. Oh, 
not yet though. Inventory container over there. Oh. 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 The fuck? Canoe paddle. Never seen that before. these bullets in a Oh, I know. Put the hook on there. fish down there and go back to Prig and cook it. But we or we <sighs> The trouble is we can't fucking carry the fish. I can't dig for worms yet anyway. So I may have to bite the bullet here and just cook our chicken, eat the two chicken, just to tie us over, tide us over. to take that electrical repair kit but I've got no capacity like zero I'm heading into Cherno basically Check that in case we get something fruity. Can spawn rucksacks in these as well. Kindling, you know, we can use these rags for kindling as well. and cut in our hand. Well, we have got the rags on, so no, we've got the hand wraps, so we should be okay. This is risky. This is risky, but... one of those things where yes someone from Prig can see the smoke potentially <laughs> but if we can cook these two pieces of chicken up it might just tide us over until we can get another knife just got enough use, thank God, on our hatchet to sh 
sharpen this stick so we can put our chicken on the end of it and cook it over this fire that we can light using the flare we've got. And what you've got now is you've still got the use of that. That's good. Multiple attempts with the flare. First time was a fail. Second <laughs> one was a fail. Oh no. Oh no, we've started it, that's fine. Up. We've all now got extra carry capacity as well. Because we'll eat the chicken. Obviously, the shit's gone from. The flare's gone. So we've got extra carry capacity for when we move on. And this food is going to be crucial towards us not to be getting sick, starting to lose health through hunger for the next 20 minutes, half an hour anyway. I don't think this has got the Nomolsk um, mod where you have to wait for the food to cool either. You can pretty much eat it straight off the rip. But I'm going to try and cook our two chickens before we start eating. Just to get them done so we can eat while we're moving. Just really hope no one sees the smoke from Prig. But it is what it is. Gotta do what you gotta do. We're halfway there to cooking them both. I would never do this on official or some of the community servers I play because you can all, nearly always would have found a pojka, a pate, some tin food on zombies that would just tide you over until you can get into an apartment or somewhere much more low key to cook. Or in the woods, you know, deep into the map. When you start going inland, you don't mind doing it in the cover of trees. Not right by the spawn, but at least we're in the industrial. We can fish as well, so as soon as we find a blade that we can dig up worms and cut up the fish, etc. Look how shit the... Uh, got the heat buff as well, which is well worth pointing out. Look how quick we're going to eat this chicken. <laughs> but it gets our arrows going in the right way. Utter shit. Like, was it worth it, really? The risk of being stumbled upon? We'll see. Sometimes in this server, every decision is crucial. Personally, I feel we've got away with that one. Keep on top of our hydration now, as well. I know we're not a million miles away from our next well. So I'm not concerned about drinking it all. Put as much stuff in there at all times so that if we get hit up, snipe that, we survive, we get away. At least our ship won't be banged up. Look, our food arrow has started going back down again. I've got six rags now, six pristine rags. When I get closer to the city, we may go foot wrap method, just for extra stealth against the Zeds. I don't know, we'll see. I haven't made my mind up yet. I thought that was a knife then. Bastards. Fucking hat. Thing. There's another guard shack or two down here. Then we've got the little milly area at the top of the hill. 
couple more guard shacks and then we're in Cherno itself. Louder though. They're going to attract the more Zeds. Even while Crouch is walking like this. Mother increased stealth and with our stealth perk activated. I feel we still might have to fight a couple of Zeds if we want to loot this guard shack, which we do. I haven't seen one with a. No fucking dry bags or anything. Oh my word. What in the name of Jesus? There's a nade doing here. I don't care. Because we got it. Oh no. Lucky. We got a bruise. Slight concussion. We can live with that though. One concussion, one bruise. See the symbols down next to the brain? one bruise even without medication they will go away over time as long as you stay out of grief oh my god he had matches as well that's huge seven matches even if you have a couple of failed attempts to light a fire Tuna, sir? Tuna tuna? Uh, of course not. Why does my guy look slightly hunched over? No, not really, but you know, with absolutely full health. Took one little knock from a Zed. That's how messed up this server is, man. Just that little scenario. The fact that I got a nade there tells me no one has been through that in a long time. It means we could get something really tasty from this Millie. And oh my god, could we betray someone by just dropping a pin and leave pin and pin in, dropping it and leaving the room. That would just be hysterical. Or if we see someone cooking in a house and we can creep on them. Chuck it through the window. Good night, sweetheart. Or if some Chad is, is pushing us, I'd love to hide in a building, wait till he fully commits. And I would die, I would rather die by suicide and take out a Chad than let him just bully us. That would be so funny. there because that needs to go in the cooking pot rifle sling to should carry it with the backpack Four. 
Ooh, hang on. Replacement for the the thing. Better insulation. I prefer the green as well. The the grey, sorry. Sort that out in a minute. Low. dig up worms with this bayonet if we can we're fucking we're good to go fishing Unless you just can't by here. Our concussion's gone. That's another signal flare thing. But we're just going to have to make a drill kit. We can't carry it. Crouching around because I want our stealth to go up and up and up and up and up as quick as we can. And then when we lose all stamina, then we just walk normal. to these other two guard shacks. Banged up hatchet. We've already got a bang. Oh, we did have a banged up hatchet. Now I've got the bayonet. I'm going to try the bayonet again on this this. Proper, proper grass, if that makes sense. Let me just check over here. There's no police crash. No. Oh, you can. Yes. So we can go fishing, boys and girls. And I know just the spot. going to risk going into town there is that I need to find a rucksack see I need to kill a Zed that has a rucksack so to me that is worth going into town for <clears throat> do we go tan tan or do we just go Look, more matches which is cool Let's do this. They will deteriorate quicker than on official servers and other community servers, but they're still going to give you enough time. To justify being able to creep around basically. Particularly in town, when we go into the big city, Chernogorsk now. Lots more Zeds. People. Take a full battery for a minute, but if it becomes between a battery and ammo or something like that, the battery will go. But maybe we find a head torch, see? And then that could be 
critical during the night time. We've got one more guard check, and then we're approaching Chernogorsk. I know exactly where I want to try and fish. I know exactly what apartment I would then want to try and cook my fish in. Not too far from the well. But people get so hyper-focused on the well, they don't tend to look up at the apartments and see any smoke coming out of it. So, well, I've never been stumbled across there. There's always a first time. And this is another occasion where the battery goes. Alcohol is huge. And what I'm going to do is immediately disinfect my rags. Because if I have to use my bandage twice, it's gone. Now I've got these to fall back on and they're disinfected. And I've still got disinfectant left as well. So that's huge. Pristine clothing, as you see, hasn't been that difficult to come across. So I'm not worried about worried too much about not being able to do the foot wrap meta as much as I want, really. And if I have to switch, oh my god. Look at that. Got to drop 10 rounds to carry a box of rounds. Makes sense. Swap, swap 35, leave 10 behind. Take 35, leave 10 behind. Signal pistol, no interest. We can use the paper from that box as kindling for our fire as well. Now as I scan ahead, I can't see many zombies. Which does concern me. And now we're hungry. So look. If you lose health, you start walking slow as fuck as well. Just because you've read hunger. <laughs> this server is brutal, man. So if we don't find a bag of rice, something edible, before we've got the ability to fish and cook, this is the state of us. So if we, if a player comes across us now, you know we're we're an easy target. And we've got our wrench to try and defend ourselves, but it ain't gonna do much really. So I'm really now hyper focused on fishing but I'm also trying to keep an eye out for a Z with a backpack because at the minute we would have to transfer the fish we'd have to leave shit behind on the shore basically we'd have to leave shit behind to go and cook our fish and then go back and get it afterwards which is not ideal really I am going to check these cars because sometimes you can get lucky and get some food on them. But in this server, it's not just about finding food, it's about finding food that isn't rotten to the core. There's a Z down there. Alright, well that's pretty big. Really struggling, our boy. Pristine, pristine, damaged, badly damaged. I'm just holding the sewing kit a sec. We're just headed. We're not even going to search all the shops at the top level. We're only going to search, search these little ones on the left-hand side of the road. If we get run up on, we get run up on. But, you know, we're losing health. We're moving as if we were red health in a standard server, if you like. Even though we're still white health, which is why this server is brutal. If any of your vitals go to in the dangerously low levels like our food is. You can't. So, oh, fuck it, we'll check the shops. We're already in a bit of a position, so... Another one minute won't hurt searching the shops. We might find some crackers or rice. That's what I'm hoping to find. Nope. Fucking blouse. A megaphone. That's handy. A lighter instead of matches is nice though. 
apartment by here, have I? No. Fuck. Please have food on you. <sighs> Would you believe it? Can of sardines fresh as a daisy. Nice. Well done. Well done, zombie. Huge. Massive. It might even get us into the yellow again, that. Don't mind taking a slap off a Z. We've fully recovered. We didn't get any concussion from the slap either, which is nice. Oh, we're in the yellow again, so we're moving freer. We'll quickly check these shops. We can move around a little bit quicker now. Nice. We'll generate the little bit of health that we lost. Teddy bear. Lose a little bit of health doing that sometimes, no. Okay. Fucking glow stick. And then look, rotten food. So, so we don't want to eat that. No, no, no. We don't want to get tummy upsets when we've got no medication that could turn into violent vomiting. When, you know, we're not far from going fishing. Hopefully catching minimum one fish. Um... Oh my god. A fucking school backpack. and it, That's bigger bigger capacity. 36 than the official. I believe they're only 30, aren't they? Or 380. Give me a bit more flippant on picking shit up now. And that's huge. For us being able to fish. Cut up the fish. Carry it away. To be cooked, you know? Okay. Tide turns a little bit. In our favour, the Daisy Gods. Balaclava, I think, is worth fixing up because of the insulation it gives you. And the fact that I'm happy to probably keep it all of my life, the balaclava. So I'm going to fix the balaclava up, but I'm not going to fix the beanie up. We're still on the lookout for a better beanie. Ideally one that's not bright red, you know. The green balaclava, I quite like that. The army coloured one. Okay. I'm going to be a little bit choosy about what shops we we go for so normally i would go back and shoot check that one but you know we're gonna hit red food again soon so we're and we're at the we're at the spot where we want to go fishing so oh my word a head torch oh, i didn't keep that battery in the end okay or did i no rank food we don't want scan ahead here because this is a hot spot oh no oh no it's the pavement I thought that was a dead zombie fuck off man go with two worms for now if we have to get more we have to get more Be 
beautiful, this bane. That was a good find. I don't get how... Like... I'll look, craft bone knife. Craft a bone knife with another knife. Okay, makes sense. <laughs> Improvised hook. I'm gonna do. I'm gonna keep the one bone because we don't know when we might need another bone knife again, and it only takes one. So that's good to know. this don't let me down I know we probably should have used the real hook I don't know whether I'm oh look at this not one straight off the rip come on What? Fucking ruined already that. This is damaged, so I might only, might only get one attempt with this real hook. Real hook. Get it? Let's see. Let's see if we can get lucky with this. Real fishing rod, real fishing hook. Oh, can you just fish, please? Get in the animation, there you go. Oh, didn't get a two for two, that would have been nice. You need. Oh, stealth has increased to eight. Here we go, got something. Oh, that's still only damaged as well, see? Ah. Oh. Said we caught something, but we didn't. Let's go and get another worm. We need we need some kip as well. Second fish. Oh. Yes. It's badly damaged. Survival is up to six now as well. We've caught two fish. Beautiful. Let's sort our inventory so he wins. Backpack's pristine as well, which is nice. So it's not going to ruin on us anytime soon. Meaning that, you know, if we drop it in our hands or put it in the inventory, we lose everything. Okay, so we're going to need as well. go into our skills survival stealth okay can't open any more perks anyway but let's stay stealthy 
stealthy as possible anyway. As the, you know, the amount of Zeds get more. Has that gone off? Oh, strong foul smell, yeah. No thanks. Got our fish anyway. More rotten food. Now, can we hit the well before we go and do our... Oh, we got a lighter as well. That's cool. Oh, shit. Mr. Fireman is right there. Don't want to get in a predicament here, see? Don't want to get in a predicament. We're in, we're in really good... We're in good shape in terms of having our fish. worn so it gives us better insulation than the beanie we've got it's another shocking color i know but whatever i'm gonna have to take this fucker out yeah we have <coughs> fireman sam got anything very doubtful Look at that, it's another cooking pot by the well, that's cool. It's worn. Ours is still worn, so. While we're here, we will drink down until we get the full stomach symbol, and then we will replenish. And then we will go and cook and eat our fish and have a little doze as well, because you can see we've lost the chunk from the moon symbol. I don't need to take a piss break IRL, but we can go in just over an hour. You have to take this server slower than you would any other server. You've seen what I've had to do to survive. I would say this is pretty good first hour or so getting a prig spawn on this intense server. Look, the fact we got a nade as well is pretty sick. Right, because we're so close to where we're going to cook, we can do a little bit more looting as well, and we find a derringer, which has a bullet in it as well. I believe. Yeah. One shot. See down on the bottom left, instead of saying one, one, or one, zero, it says plus, minus, meaning there's there's one in the chamber. So that could... That's enough to uncon someone who hasn't got a prep, a start, any ballistic press vest. They will be uncon with the one to the chest, obviously dead, one to the head. Our first gun of the save of the life getting close to our apartment now we're going to have to take that zombie out our belt is pretty handy if we get a canteen, a sheath or a holster we can put that on the belt and save space let's concentrate on this Zed <coughs> tough bitch A lot more than they normally do, or have done. Carrying nothing. Balaclava we've already got. And here comes our apartment where we're going to cook. We've got kindling. We've got fuel. To cook four. One long stick is fine to cook four fish fillets. Let's search the bottom apartment first. Get fucked. Well, look at that. We've just hit red hunger as well as we get inside.
Nothing here, is there? Nope. So first things first, break the stick down into a short sticks. That's our fuel. Just look as well, they're already damaged. That's how much quicker they degenerate on this server. We need the lighter. This paper will provide our kindling. Might not get it first attempt, but the lighter has got plenty of fluid in it. Failed to start a fire. Try again. Second time lucky, like it was with the flare. Nope. Third time lucky. Joking. Fourth time lucky. Imagine we run out of lighter fluid, we have to go and make a drill kit and... Oh, here we go. Survival has gone up to seven. Right, we need that to go in the cooking pot. Uh, are you joking? I haven't even used that and it's gone to badly damaged. Thanos. A lot more sustenance off fish than chickens. Uh, Medium back into yellow. And these will these will get us into the white comfortably. Allow us to loot the rest of town, and then we might have to do some fishing. It depends which way we want to go. The last time I did this save, I went past the bus stop, up a PD, away. I don't want to do that again. I want to go probably west. I want to do Belota next. So, where the fish on the coast and cook in Belota. That could be an that could be an option. What I'm gonna say, I'm gonna let my character have a nap. Um, and I'm gonna. Exit, pause the video, and we might do this in parts. We might do this in parts. We see how, how long we can we keep Freddy alive if it goes well, or you know, can we even if we die, then we lose a couple of perks, a couple of our stats go down a point or two. I think it's a point off each one, but we could then try and build Freddy up again, and at least we would be at a higher starting position than we were when we, when we first started this life, you know. Three of our fish fillets we've managed to eat before filling our belly. I think we'll be able to eat all four. I think you need to catch a lot more fish to fill up than you would on a fishel. Right? Eating four fish fillets on a fishel would probably mean you don't need food for like two hours of real time. There we go. It's our last one. eye out the window as well. Let's see how far up it gets us. Let's see. I'm, I'm assuming it's going to get us into the white. Buff as well now because of that. We've got no bruising, no concussions, no sickness. This guy's a beast. My mouse is going crazy. I'm going to wash the fish down with some water. There we go. And watch this now. Force you guy to sleep, okay? 
Tell him to lie down. Listen to him. See, the arrows have gone up on the moon. Three arrows. Her eyes start to close. <laughs> start snoring. But you keep one eye open. Now, so if I press W on my keyboard, forward, he will immediately come out of his slumber. Start waking up. But it's not quick. If somebody come in now, I'm dead. Like, super dead. And to, to refill it completely... And for it to stay filled for any sort of decent amount of time. I've timed it that you need to let you guys sleep a minute. There you go. Eyes shut completely. Pitch black. Let's just wake up for the purposes of us being in Cherno. See? So imagine I've heard the door go. I can, as I'm waking up, I can still move and do shit, but not ideal, okay? So we'll pick this up again in part two, I think.